Sir, uh, the people, the few years we have seen that uh, you have been to the belonging to the generation of 80s, right? They haven't seen you and Majid. So, what's the magic, sir? According to you, uh, there is no magic. Only the kindness and love of the people and club supporters, whichever club we were and uh, football lover, in addition to all, is the uh, thing which keep us moving. And then there keen interest on uh, passing the history to the next generation is the thing like which is going on and those days as you know there was hardly any media who could follow the track of the football and not only history of our generation below us also, before us also, there were hardly any, anything. So only, as I said, parents, football lovers and uh, somehow media try to keep the process going on. And that is how they, people they see us, they still can recognize and they can still remember the history of our football through their parents. So the, what was the magic in that time that people still following you, still recognizes you? The we, both players from the Aligarh University uh, has changed the Indian football. When we came, it was a moment that East Bengal had a trouble by leaving, uh, getting five or seven of their players shifting to another club. So in that moment, they were looking for the players who could <coughs> pull them up. So at that moment we were playing for Aligarh University and both of us were fresh. We were coming from Iran and we presented Iran Champion Club as well as we were member of Iran Junior and Senior World Cup, both of us. So when we came here, we uh, participated in uh, All India University tournament which Calcutta team also was participating. In that tournament particular year, Tournament, we, my, me and Majid, we were high scorer. Not only the Zunal in India, we were the champion overall, all India. With me scoring nearly 22 goals and Majid some 20, 12 or 14 goals. So this uh, generated interest among the Rovers Cup organizer to call our team Aligarh University for the tournament. And there also we were successful winning each and every matches till East Bengal came to know through Calcutta University team officials and players that there are two players playing for Aligarh University, they are good. So they came and they approached us and we came <coughs> and played in spite of East Bengal having few players who they could count on them. With us, totally, we tried to lift up the club, the prestige and uh, situation. On that base, starting first match, we started the goal, scoring both of us. So, first appearance started with the scoring until end we were in East Bengal for, for nearly three years, both of us. So, we kept on the scoring goal and majority of the goals were vital goals and like in the final or championship matter. So, this Sir, any, team, uh, any team, tournament you want to remember, like Darjeeling Gold Cup, Rovers? Darjeeling Gold Cup, Rovers Cup, uh, all the tournament, majority of the tournament, we hardly, 80-81, we hardly lost to any club. And then again 85. So this put a lot of impression on people's mind and people conscious that this, in spite of East Bengal losing so many players, with the remaining player and addition of two, we were able to lift up majority of the tournament. Hardly we, I don't remember any tournament we lost. We won majority of the tournament and in, and in, in the presence of the so many other good players, so many like Mohammedan Sporting Club had seven players of East Bengal. So they were very top position. And Mohammedan also had a very good team. So, and other, even other clubs from Calcutta or anywhere else from India, Goa or Kerala or anywhere else, 
they all had top players. And all these three clubs plus other clubs, their players were at the level of Asia standard. So this put a lot of impression on the people's mind that really we played good, we played up to their expectation or maybe more than that. So that is how this, uh, as you said, people still remember those days. Sir, how it was tough because Iran was a, such a what devastated country. And sir, how was your, how was your childhood and how you came so long? Our journey started mainly with the purpose of study because we were representing Iran national team, sub-junior, junior and senior team, step by step. And for the sake of education, we, since in Iran, number of universities were less. So we, and we as a national player, we could join any university if we have represented the national team. But we preferred to come on our own and study abroad and see maybe if we get the opportunity also to play for some club. And one of my brothers, he used to play with Pass Club, which came to 76, he came to Calcutta for IFC. He was Pass Club member. He told me that in India, <coughs> if you go study also, you, there is an opportunity for you to be seen by a big club of India, and then especially Calcutta. So you carry your study as well as your passion. So that was how we came to Calcutta, <coughs> to India, for purpose of a study. <coughs> and later on, after three months, we have to shift from Aligarh to Calcutta. And that was how our journey of carrying our studies as well as football career started. Sir, who <coughs> has inspired Jamshid Nasir to be the player footballer? Actually, when I was young in Iran, I was a small uh, age, 12, like that, I started to play for sub junior of the state. And my brother in front of me used to play for Iran Touch Club. And that was inspiring me. He, since he was a striker, I also used to play a striker. So I used to be inspired by him watching his matches. In fact, one match I remember from him. Match was the row after match finish. Those days, five penalty shootout used to be ruled. So one player could kick all the five shots. Okay. Nowadays, five players should take each single shot. Those days, it was allowed any player who is willing to kick all the five, we can do. So my brother, he took all the five kicks and all five kicks all converted to goal. So I was watching that match. Their style of playing and all. And sir, any legendary Initiative of goal scoring, that was inspiring. Or sir, any legendary player who has inspired you like Maradona Pele? <coughs> Those days, they were players like our time they were, I used to watch players like uh, Pele, then Beckenbauer, our uh, Johan Krav and Platini, all these players at the top level we used to see in Iran on TV, especially World Cup, European Cup. So, but my main uh, person who I like to follow him was a striker from our club, the Iran national champion team. His name was Olam Hossein Masumi. He was a striker, he was tall, and he was very good header. So I used to get a lot of tips from him for heading. And that was how eventually I replaced him in his position in the same club. That, that was a big satisfaction for you also. Yes.